BC's next premier, David Eby, has a plan in place to make housing more affordable in BC by removing the red tape that is strata rental restrictions. Is or are restrictions? Is it are strata rental restrictions? I don't know. This will allow more units in the province to move into the rental stock and increase the overall inventory in that end of the market. Therefore, hopefully decreasing rents for those who need the break the most. And in the name of making housing more affordable within the province, this move is positioned perfectly to, you guessed it, increase the amount of investors and speculators coming to the marketplace, and therefore, inevitably, it will drive up the price of real estate. And I'm going to cover this topic in today's episode of The Government is Screwing Up Housing. Again. But of course, the video can't start before I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you would like to stay up to date on Surrey, Fraser Valley, and BC real estate. And if you could also click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, that would be a big help because that is the number one way that you can help me get this video out to more people also interested in the Canadian real estate market. Or maybe you could just leave a comment. And as always, if you need personalized help here in my market of Surrey and the Fraser Valley, you can book a call with me right now using the link in the description below. And now onto the video all about how the government just can't help f***ing up housing. If you're unfamiliar, stratas in BC may or may not have rental restrictions. For more backstory on rental restrictions in strata corporations in the province of British Columbia, please go ahead and check out this video. The short form though of that video is that newer condos and townhouse complexes in BC are exempt from rental restrictions. But if you live or own in a building older than about 2010, there's a very good chance that your building is restricted completely or at least has a limited number of rentals allowed. Now, what this does is it allows owners the comfort of knowing that if they buy a property that does not allow rentals, that most of their neighbors are owners too, just like them. This usually leads to a greater sense of community. And let's be honest, most of the time owners as a whole will take care of the properties probably a little bit better than maybe investors and tenants would. But with rents absolutely skyrocketing across the entire country, since the real estate market has cooled off, well, finally, we have a solution. David Eby, the new leader of the BCNDP, has proposed that rental restrictions across the entire province should be removed. This would inevitably open up thousands of new units to the marketplace and would have renters across the entire province clicking the like button for more affordable housing. But with every single government move made to make housing more affordable, you know, other than actually building more houses, well, inevitably there will be side effects. And the side effects of this affordable housing initiative is, well, unaffordable housing. You see right now, if you are a first time buyer, downsizer, or really anyone looking to purchase and live in one of these rental restricted stratas, right now your competition or what we call the buyer pool are other people just like you. Hardworking people trying to purchase a home to call their own. And this is where it gets a little ugly. With EB's new proposed removal of rental restrictions, investors will now flood to these previously non-investor owned properties. And yes, according to the Times Colonist, it will actually drive up the prices of these previously more affordable units. Because the more restrictions a property has in regards to how the owner may use it, the less buyers are interested in owning that property. Therefore, those restrictions actually help suppress prices. But if EB flicks the switch, instantly all of those lower price units will hit the radar of investors that are looking for more affordable real estate to invest in. And yes, you, the 5% down first time buyer that needs to have all their conditions in, including inspection and finance, will instantly be bidding against deep pocketed investors buying maybe with all cash that are willing to waive their conditions. But let me give you another example of how restrictions can actually benefit homeowners and discourage investors. Here in BC, we have lots of age restricted stratas that are designed for people that are 55 and older. Age restricted units allow seniors to live in a safe community, but this also helps keep 
prices for those properties low because removing every purchaser, say between the ages of 19 and 54, well, that obviously reduces again the size of the buyer pool, causing prices to stay low for seniors that are likely living on some sort of fixed income, maybe even Canada pension. Add a rental restriction on top of that, and grandma can now continue to afford living in her own home where she'll be safe, knowing that everyone she runs into in the hallways is a senior owner just like herself. And that could lead us to our next unintended consequence. You see, currently age restrictions are still allowed in ownership of certain strata properties in BC. However, the BC Residential Tenancy Act disallows for any age discrimination at all. This means that sure, to own the unit, Granny will have to be 55 years or older, but if her 75-year-old neighbor down the hall goes into a home, there's a chance that maybe the POA or whoever is in charge of that person's affairs could then rent out the unit to whoever they like. And that means that there's absolutely nothing that sweet old granny or the strata can do should the new tenant be a little less than desirable or maybe even put the owners at risk. But EB says seniors will be exempt from his new rule and that their restrictions will remain. However, the age of the exemption was not mentioned and currently 55 plus is the most popular age restriction and he mentioned seniors so i don't know if now those buildings maybe need to shift to 65 plus however 19 plus age restricted complexes where many seniors also like to live like one of Surrey's nicest complexes, the affordable Chelsea Gardens, seem to be on the hit list to have those restrictions removed. And that brings us to the next point. Many BC stratas are self-managed. The reason for this is because strata management can be very expensive. And the day-to-day -day headaches of living with random tenants will fall onto the shoulders of the volunteer owners who may or may not totally understand the Residential Tenancy Act. Because those strata councils are made up of just that, owners volunteering to help out in the building and manage it to reduce costs to the rest of the owners. So in that type of case, many of those stratas will have to take on further expense and likely hire a property manager, making it, again, more expensive for homeowners on a monthly basis. And even if they don't do that, the Tenancy Act and the Strata Properties Act together both don't allow stratas to effectively deal with tenancies. So to summarize, David Eby's plan to make rentals more affordable could bring rents down. At the cost of real estate prices rising, monthly costs to owners increasing, and more headaches for volunteers on strata councils. But hey, look on the bright side. Maybe grandma will meet someone new. However, after considering this even further, there is a very good chance that, well, this is a tax grab. And here's why. You see, if you own currently in a rental restricted or rentals not allowed building, then you are exempt from some of the speculation taxes brought in by these governments. This is a very popular thing for, for instance, snowbirds who like to spend six months of the year here in Canada and another six months maybe in Palm Springs. Well, those homeowners who lived and worked their whole life in BC and now are retired, if they stay one day maybe too long down in Palm Springs, Instead of returning back to their home for exactly that six month period, well, this could open them up also to speculation tax, which is likely what this move is all about. Let me know if you support the removal of rental restrictions across the entire province down below in the comments. Please remember to subscribe, click the like button, check out this strata rental video before you go, and we'll see you in a couple of days.